right, morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today, uh, our video went up late because we had some technical difficulties with my computer last night. I went to bed, well Sam fixed it, I got up early and I edited it and the video should be up soon. But, I wanted to tell you guys something. You guys remember when I was trying to tell you that we were assessing one of our goats because she definitely seemed odd, she seemed different. I noticed a lot of changes in her and I was wondering, and I know that they're pregnancy related and I wanted to determine if they were early labor signs, which I felt like they were. Well today, I was reading up, I'm always reading up, and I saw something that made so much sense to me and that put words to what I was seeing. Um, so some pre-labor, late pregnancy signs that your doe might have. Look how cute she is. She is a very cute little kid. Look, she's so tiny though. She's six months old now. She's so tiny. You're so tiny. She's looking at me. <laughs> she's turned into a different, her personality has changed a lot. I should do an update on her. But anyway, so some of the things of pre-labor, late pregnancy signs are like um, waddling when she walks with a spread to the hind ends. Uh, difficulty getting comfortable, utter formation, teeth lengthening, all that stuff I knew. Um, but also change in personality, which is what I knew, and that is the thing that I was focusing on with Tilly. Her personality has definitely changed, and she was doing some things that made me wonder if it was signs of early labor. Oftentimes, does will develop a glazed over look to them. So this is what she's been doing. She has a glazed over look, a look where she stares, kind of straight ahead and she just stands. I thought maybe she was starting to have contractions, but it's really just something called the pregnancy trance. That's what people call it. Um, it's a subtle thing, but if you know your goat, you'll pick up on it. And that's the thing about me. I notice so many things. Like I notice every single change. And because I do that, and because I'm sensitive to that, it makes me worry the most. I wish I was less observant and I could just go out there and not worry until like some really hardcore signs start happening, but that's not me. Um, she also says that when they get really late in pregnancy and they're getting really, really close, they stop jumping up on things. And that's something else that we notice that she um, doesn't want to jump up and when she does get up on things she will go like in their stall they she she used to just jump up there onto the second layer level um, but now she goes up the first level and goes up onto the second level and even when she's going down she goes down to the first level she doesn't have to jump so high so those are definitely changes that I've noticed in her also she says like some of them are friendly and want to be touched and some of them uh, get less friendly and believe it or not she is getting way more friendly. She lets us touch her, and before she never let us touch her, she, we can walk right up to her now. Don't do that, it bothers people. <laughs> so these are all changes that I was noticing. So it just feels good to see it all written down so that I know that what I was seeing is real. I'm definitely seeing signs that she's getting closer. It makes me so excited. Last night I dreamed that I saw some mucus in the stall. So I don't know when that will happen, but that gives me confidence that I'm not gonna go down and find the dead baby one day. But also today I'm picking up something that's gonna help me with that. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. You guys are so sweet. Oh, I just love you. <laughs> These are my two dogs and they just love me. Are you jealous? <laughs> She's getting whipped by Ruby's tail. Ruby and Ellie are also best friends, so it works out well. One thing I didn't get to share with you guys when the grandkids were here though, um, Brooklyn was really upset about something. She's going through that emotional stage and she was crying just a little and Ellie zoom ran right over to her and was trying to comfort her and even Brooklyn really bonded with Ellie over that. She was like, I can't believe like how in tune she is with your emotions. Like I love that about these two dogs are so sensitive, but anyway, I have a busy, we have a super busy day today, so let's get on with this vlog. I just wanted to share that, that with you and put it into better words because I tend to ramble and not make much sense, but that is exactly what I've been noticing and what I was trying to share with you guys. Whew, it is cold today. <laughs> oh, I wonder if Sam loaded up, uh, loaded up the vlog, but anyways. Uh, it is super cold today. We have a lot of picking up stuff to do. So we are headed out. It is shopping day. I love shopping day. Like the reason, one another reason that we buy our stuff every week or every two weeks is because I like getting out. I like going to the stores. I like. I like shopping. We like shopping. We like. I like researching and seeing new stuff. Like I like finding new stuff. Anyways, 
So it's shopping day. We need grain for the horses. We need grain for the goats. We need grain for the duck and the goose. And we need grain for the chickens. You're probably thinking, how in the heck is that possible? Because you buy it so often. Yeah, I know. I ask myself the same thing. Did you post the vlog? Oh, no, I didn't. Do you want to do that before we go or you want to wait till we get back? You can wait? Yeah. Um, so the other thing. If you guys were missing, if you guys were waiting on the vlog, blame Sam. <laughs> Anyways, um, I also am going to pick up a monitor today. I want to get a baby monitor for the barn because I feel like it'll be better. I need to get a Wi-Fi one. I don't know. I just like the idea of it better. So I'm going to go and try and we're going to just try it. I'm going to buy one today and we're going to try it and see if it works. I need something to be able to watch those goats. Because it's gonna, it's, this is killing me, man. This is killing me. And we're only gonna, it's only gonna get worse. It's only gonna get worse. And if it wasn't so cold out, we also have some other things that we're gonna do to make sure that the babies stay warm. And I'll show you guys um, that as we do it. Plus, I need to get a few more things for my birthing kit. Actually, I need to, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on today. This is hard. <laughs> Never ever did I think that in my 50s would I be dragging goat food a mile from the house. I have another question for you. Alright. Um, what? I'm, I'm going to talk to Siri. Oh. How long does it take for crawfish eggs to hatch? Sophie's crawfish are mating. Mating season. Five to eight weeks. Wow, write it on your calendar. All right, so let's talk about calendars. <laughs> All right. Eight weeks and I'm not gonna have more baby crawfish. I'm gonna have to print out like a big, it plays noise for the baby. So I'm gonna have to print out a big calendar oh, and mark everything on it because on my Google calendar, I'm like scrolling back and forth and trying to get everything. So it's hard for me to see everything. Like it's hard for, I need to have it on a printed calendar and then write it all down. Basically our buck got free only when the girls were in heat. He never even tried when they weren't in heat, obviously. So I have my first dates of when the does are, could be due based on the times that he broke free. I feel certain that I saw Mocha be bred three weeks later. So she's actually not due until the beginning of March. So she's not due till the beginning of March, Mocha. So I don't know about Tilly. Like Tilly, I didn't ever see her get bred other than um, Sophie grabbed him off of her when he broke free the first time. That's the white one. So anyways, basically our goats can be due anywhere from the middle of February to the middle of March. Or the begin from the middle of February to the beginning of March. So that's basically where we are. <laughs> I don't know exactly when they're due because he kept breaking free. So when I bred them, I bred them to be due, my goal was to breed them to be due in March or April, and he got out, so there's a chance that they could be due in February. So this is the camera system that I bought. I wanted a baby monitor, I don't know why. I just wanted, this is what I want. This is what I wanted. So it's a uh, LeapFrog, it's the cheapest one, it was 100 bucks, and I can use an app on my phone to watch. You know, Sam is hooking me up. I'm so excited. Look at how deep our bedding is in here. Sam's almost touching the ceiling. Our friend Kate said that her horse that's like 17-1 wouldn't fit in this barn. And I'm like, oh, yes, it would. Don't be silly. And I think maybe she's right. <laughs> I should just listen when people tell me stuff. Anyway, Sam's hooking that up. Um, this is the heater that, oops. Is it called Mr. Heater? Yeah, it's called Mr. Heater. This is the heater. It goes on top of the propane tank and it is hot. This puts out a lot of heat. We'll be using that when we have to stay down at the barn while we're waiting for goats to be born. And this is the grain that I have to go put away. Wait, let me get rid of my cat down for you. Is 
my boy. Yeah, he is so handsome. This is just how tall I am compared to you. Yeah, right. Get off the hay. He gets so much love that he bites. I should honestly plan it out so that we're buying stuff on different days because when you're buying all your grain and all your hay in the same week it gets expensive um, he thinks when i kiss him he should bite me back because he thinks it's just what we do do you think he goes in that little bed up there no, he doesn't he sleeps beside it wait heavy We're just trying to figure out where we want it. I like the camera. The quality is amazing. It has color at night. Uh, Sam and Sophie came down to do a barn check last night. And the goats had already drank all their water. It's only a small bucket. Love this photo. Aw. Rosies. Dillies. Aww. Blossoms. All right, so Blossoms. And milk. All right, so this is it. We decided to put it, I decided to put up high because I can literally see out the whole barn, this whole area, it moves and swivels. I'm gonna get a broom and sweep down the cobwebs because that's not cool. But this rotates and moves all around. Um, I can turn this light off with my, can't, with my phone and I can talk to them through it. I can take screen recordings. I can record everything, super cool. All right, let's see it. He is so freaking cute. And then I got Mimoka, which she's always chewing in them. I feel like now we have some time. Like I'm not as worried. Yeah, it's good I to get I everything ready. Fish. Yeah. Did you do the grain for me? Put it in the bucket? No. Why? I couldn't open it, <laughs> so I kicked it. Disgusting. I should. I hope I should leave the cobwebs because they're really good for insulation. Okay. <laughs> they're Look, pretty thick. The new phone has a weird update. See, so if I zoom all the way in, why well, I think you can zoom in more. But you see oh, there. A I in hate screen it. picture. That's cool. So the truth is that this one, Rosie, the white no, Tilly, the white one could be due Hi. in a week and Thank a half. You, Mocha. And I think this one is looking huge. Like she's looking so much bigger. Look. He likes being pets, but he hates when you touch him between but arms. She might not be due due for like right. five more weeks. Based on she's definitely awesome. not due till the beginning of March. Which was what, what? it <laughs> what? she's like a little old lady. Look at her. She's literally like a little old lady. Lola? Yeah. She's like, complains about everything. Yeah, and she cries all day, but she must get food because look at how chunky that little thing is. She's so fat. Hey, don't bite my coat. He likes eating coats. That's why you're fat, because you eat everything you can find. Yeah, like my camera cord. What? <laughs> What's the matter? She's just mad because we're down here now and not paying attention to her. I know. Thank you, I know. and I just saw her belly go, wow. 
Yeah, I just can't imagine her being due in a month. Like, she's going to be massive. She had twins last time. Hi. She was a twin mom. Lola's not grown. She gets so much. So, no, Lola's grown a, a lot. Actually, she's grown even longer. Like, she's adorable. She, I can't believe how much she's grown. But she's chunky. Hello, kids. I love her frosted ears. I wouldn't want her any chunkier. Yeah, she needs to. Last time, be nice. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Yeah, what food do you got for me? They had two. So she's going to probably have two again. Yeah, Tilly only had one baby last and time. And she looks big, so she might have three. I don't Hi. know. I think Mocha looks bigger. Stop eating my coat. All right. All right, well, thank you very much for hooking that up for me. I'm super excited. Good, let's go up. All right, well, wait, I have to put my finish the grain. Can you take that up with you? What? That, that was for Storm, food for Storm. Don't you know that you